Hello everybody, hope you're having another blessed day for today's video. I have finally finished it for the contest win a while back. He wanted a Crystal Beast deck. He got a Crystal Beast deck. Yes. Today I'm going to show you guys my quick 50 card Crystal Beast deck for today's meta. With a side deck and an extra deck included. Now you do see already an OCG card, but that card is coming out soon in the modern day Yu-Gi-Oh! And it actually makes Crystal Beast an actual usable and viable deck. It will not be meta. I'll tell you that. It won't be no top 5 meta, but for a casual deck, you want to get a deck that gives you 1 or 2 negates consistently for an OTK sub and going second. Here you go. You're going to get it. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Now, you may have seen decks similar to this on Mega the Capital G's. YouTube channel, and he was kind of doing a whole deck profile of it before. The things I did to change that is that I tried to make it more competitive by including some cards. So one, you need hand traps. So I went with six for a 50 card deck. And also have, you see coming up, Parallax C. Where's I think is a card, if any deck that can link summon, you need to play this card, okay? Because it's a free rank two. Alright, because one, as soon as you link summon, use the, as soon as you link summon, you can spell summon this card, it comes level four. And also special summons out a second card, or second version of it, also comes to level 4. And boom and boom, you got yourself a rank 2. Well, not rank 2, a rank 4. What am I talking about? But yeah, we'll go into that when we start. So, starting out free Ash Blossom, I'm still fans one of the, probably the best hand traps in the game right now. Probably, in my opinion, still the best hand trap. It hits basically any fan that's a reinforcement in the army for a deck. So, for example, it can hit cards like my Rainbow Bridge, hold my Crystal Bond in my deck, for example. Alright. Next, we have Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, which is kind of the one-card combo for this deck. Yes. There is a one-card combo for Crystal Beast. It exists, <laughs> okay? And thanks to this dragon you see below it, it's possible, all right? It is possible. And it's actually pretty cool to see that, all right? Next, we have Perox C, for the exact reason I told you already. It basically lets you get out a, well, a rank 4. And also, it can be a kind of a block... To kind of stop them from trying to like Ash Blossom your crowd like high Fibrax. Because you can chain this to the summon and make Cut Fire Chain Link 1 and Pelic Seed Chain Link 2 to kind of block and cover for it, which is really good also. And it won't waste the Ash on this because if you don't Ash it, you get into rank 4 like uh, with Flegia and you get the whole Great Dose Track Co. and then it will be able to play it anyway. So they're going to Ash this card. Next, we play free Rainbow Dragons. Yes, free Rainbow Dragons. Not one, not two, we're playing free. Mainly because, well, you need to have free Rainbow Dragons for a new card. Rainbow Dragon is ZF Crystal Beast. Because, one, this card has a really broken effect. That when it went, hold on, Who's that? You can banish this, you can banish this, this, uh, continue spell card. Spell some one level four. Or lower Crystal Beast monster from your deck, but it gains effect. And if you, if any, and if you do, add one ultimate monster, ah, ultimate crystal monster from your deck to your hand. So you'll add a rainbow dragon from your deck to your hand also, alright? So that's why you play free, you need to have free to just use the effect of this rainbow dragon zenith, alright? So that's pretty good. Next we have one Adamant's Pet Researcher, which you would think well, does not fit well into this deck. But trust me, you need this card to get into Highly Fabrax, and I'll show you in a combo later in this video. Then basically play one of all the Edo Crystal Beasts, Amber Mammoth, Amethyst Cat, Cobalt, uh, Turtle, Carbuncle, and Tiger. These are just here for the off chance you do go into Rainbow Dragon. Also use some of the spell cards effects. Honestly, the only ones are good are like uh, Carbuncle, Tiger, Mammoth, and Eagle. Turtle and Cat don't really do anything. And then we have Jet Synchron, which is all summon off of High Fibrax. We got Beast Online for our Mega Phantom Beast Summon, and we have Neos for a Predator Plant used for a Fusion. Then we have three Ancient Ruins, because it has a really cool effect. That if you have four, yes, if you have four Crystal Beasts and you spell Trap Card Zone, you can draw one extra card during your standby phase. So basically, you get a pot of greed each of your turns. Really nice. Call by the Grave, because this card can't, this deck can be hit pretty bad with a hand trap, so you do play Call by the Grave. Free Crystal Bonds and free Rainbow Bridge, used basically for the exact same reason. So it adds one crystal spell trap from your deck to your hand. Basically, you rainbow bridge to get crystal bond, crystal bond to get to to get to Pegasus is what these two combos are for. Also, crystal bond can let you get into a crystal beast, but that's not really needed. You're always going to search sapphire Pegasus. Then you have one Ambidance, which again, if you get four uh, crystal beast monsters in your spell traps card, you can send as many cards and fail as possible to the graveyard. And spell summon as many crystal beast monsters as possible from your graveyard up to number of cards sent from the opponent's field to the graveyard. Yeah, basically just wipes the whole board. <laughs> and then you get a bunch of cards out and you go for OTK. Play it at one, because one, it's a brick. 
Because if you don't get to that point in the game, which all the time it doesn't, it's not useful. So there you go for that. We play one we play one beacon, one blessing, one the three, and the one of our fusions, maybe because we want that for Predator Plant and Akanda. One upstart goblin, because why not? It's a plus one. <laughs> and then we got the trap, where it's basically one for like our I would call it interruptions, because basically you can pop a card in the field if you have a crystal beast on the field also. Yeah, tar one crystal beast card you control. And then you can talk about card field, turn to the hand. So it's good for that. One and per free impermanences, which I'll say goes key, was key in over freaking win today. Our first try and our first win with this deck. And the one great is try call for Aflacia. Side deck is very simple. Free Ghost Dogger, free Nibiru, free Cosmic, free Dark Road No More, and free Light and Storms. You know, very genetic sideboard. Then for extra deck, Rainbow Nades and over and over Dragon. Yeah. Basically, these are the targets for Predaplant Anaconda for Neo's Fusion. Then we have Board Sword for OTK potentials. Doesn't really need to be used. High Fires for the combo. Phoenix and Unicorn, again, don't really need to be able to just tech card like Board Sword. Uh, Aurora Dawn for the combo. Predaplant for Neos, basically. Union Care can actually be really good. It lets you get out your key or missing Crystal Beast if you need to get to that point. So, any two monsters lets you basically equip any of the Crystal Beast from your deck. So, you try and get four Crystal Beasts, boom, there you go. Uh, we have uh, Adamant Spear Ryzen and Herald of Arc Life for our two Omni Gates. Abyss Dweller, in case you play against those decks that we need the graveyard effects to go off. Uh, Granite to help us search our Adamant Spear card in our deck. Researcher. Uh, Baguska, you know, if you need a stall. And then, I this is Paul. Do not Reflasia. Get out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see here. Trap Trick. Where are you at? Flasia, what are you doing? She's trying to sneak out here. So yeah, within one with Flasia, kind of you can just activate trade, uh, Trap Rose tra Dark Hole. Alright. So there we go. There is the deck. Now let's get into the win. So here we go. We got the win. We get the win. We're playing against Libis 1-9. Okay, and we were forced to go second. And thankfully we did open up Infinite Impermanence. Now I'm going to speed this up. So basically, this is his whole turn. Alright. He kind of sped through it quickly. Sent two cards quickly. And first set to Quad, I'm like, oh god, am I playing against Palozoix? No, I wasn't. But he basically goes for a vampire deck with retainer and set two pass. One was domination, which basically the omni negate, and one's waking with special one from the deck. Alright. Keep in mind, I did not know what the heck he was playing, or what was in his hand, or what was set, and I don't know much about vampires. So faithfully I do top deck Pegasus. We'll tell you his one card combo. So let's see what happens. So I try to go out first. I'm like, right, let's go with Crystal Bond. No, I could add a second of Pegasus, and then I can set directly my whole uh, dragon. But he has Ash in his hand, which is pretty good. So Ash will take that out. Thankfully, I have Pegasus, which helps me go off the dragon. And use Dragon of Effect to special summon Cobalt. And I will say I did make a mistake, which technically was cheating. I forgot to add my dragon, even though I did have free my deck. So it's not that I didn't have it. I forgot to add it. But it didn't really make much of a difference. All right. So I go for Granite. Go to detach one, and he activates his trap to negate and destroy my card and gain life point equal to its attack. So that really sucked. All right. So at that point, I'm like, crap, this is going to be a lose, and I might have to try again. But know what I know from vampires? They're not really good at getting a lot of damage on board. Kind of a grind game. And I didn't know they had set if we had no one of these cards. So I decided, you know what, I'll set my two traps, and I put imperm in that card's column. Because what you may not remember about imperm, you activate this card when set to target a monster. The spell and traps in its card column are also negated for the end of that turn. All right, and that's gonna come big in a second. So here we go. Going through, he activate, activate stock wards deal, it makes each card and draw a card and then discard a card. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. So this is my hand, and I thankfully drew Rainbow Bridge, which I know from playing this deck, that is basically a one card combo. Which when we get into Sapphire Pegasus, I can get to right Predator Plant now. Card lost my way to get into. Uh, High five because has granted got killed, but I can still get into Predator Plant, which is awesome. So I decided to discard Exceed because I know I want to Exceed and I need Neos to go into the fusion. So we go, bye bye Exceed. And he also had, look at this, he also had Nibiru. See, like, he couldn't even use Ash, he would have been able to Nibiru me probably for sure. Alright, so thankfully that didn't get dropped on me. So here we go. He activates Awakening, so I play it smart. I go to activate Impermanence, and I target target his retainer to negate his effect, because you know what, I need to target a card. But then, also his Awakening gets negated. However, 
he does not understand that infinite impermanence negates. So he tries to go from familiar off of awakening. I'm like, oh, sir, awakening is negated. It wasn't in the same column. What do you mean it's not the same column? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the heck? So I copy and paste the text. I'm like, dude, read the card, man. Because, you know, this is kind of a really good card. And he quits. He quits. And that's how we get all win with Crystal Beast. They quit. But you know what? I don't think it's going to matter because, let's see, what's else in his hand? Show me your hand. What's in your hand, fool? You got a vamp, whatever. That would have done nothing. So he would have been left with this retainer. And next turn, guaranteed, I was going to get into uh, Rainbow Neal's. Probably, well, I don't know if Rainbow even does. Can I see it? No, whatever. But Rainbow News basically going to shuffle out his card. I was going to get a really strong monster on the board. And probably was going to win in two or three turns, okay? So you know what? We got that win. Now, because I want to cheat you guys out also, I'm going to show you the combo for Crystal Beast. So I'm going to speed it up quickly, so let me get into that. Alright, so here's a quick combo. I'm not going to show you guys the whole Rainbow Neos one, because one, all that basically means get two monsters, go into Predator Play Anaconda, Predator Play Anaconda, send the whole Neos fusion, boom, there you go. You got Neos, Rainbow Neos. Nothing really going to come of that, but I'm going to show you the whole Negate Board combo of this deck. And this is probably the best one you get if you have Perixeed, and basically a way to get into... Um, Sapphire Pegasus. So here's the best combo you can do right now. So after Crystal Bond, you're gonna you're gonna put the spell trap with the dragon. Normal summon the Pegasus. Pegasus is set now. Dragon doesn't matter what you set. Now you're gonna banish the dragon to just bring out a level four uh, Crystal Beast, which could be the Mammoth, or it can be the, the Eagle. Add the Rainbow Dragon. Go into Granite. Discard the Granite. It's gonna add Adam Emancipator Researcher because it has the fact that you have a Rock Monster, you can Special Summon it. So Special Summon. Now you get to go into High Fibrax, and this is the cool part of Exceed. You can chain block. So chain block, well, chain link one, High Fibrax, chain link two, Exceed. So first thing you're going to do is special, is basically, well, special summon it, and then you, in the next chain, you get a special summon a second, Exceed. Overlay these, since they're both level four now, into you, Ref Reflesia, put it wherever you want. Now I'll send Jet Synchro on High Fibrax to the grave to get into Aurora Dawn, which gives you free tokens. Oops, I missed click. Get out of here. So we got three tokens. Uh, the Tribute 1 and Aurora Dawn. You're going to be able to special summon out now. Phantom Beast O-Lion. And now you can basically synchro into Ad Emancipator Dragonite. Okay? And that's basically your first two negates. You got Aflesia and you got Dragonite. Two negates, but we're not done. Because when Beast O-Lion goes to the grave, you get a token. And we have one more card in our hand. We're just going to discard that out. Don't forget good old boy Jet Synchron. With a level 3 and a 1, we're now going to make Herald of the Dark Light. So, boom. That is the basic combo, which basically, only thing you're missing with Exceed is that you won't get a Fleecia, so you'll have still Arc Light and Drag Knight if you just draw or open up, basically, Sapphire Pegasus. So, easy to get to Omni Negates, alright? And draw up Exceed again, you get a Fleecia also, so this can easily be a free negate board, which is good by itself, alright? And look, even if the whole thing would open up, we still got this card to go off next turn to get out a no monster. So, you know, we got options. So, yeah, that is going to do it for the video. I'll go back to the deck profile if you guys want to check that out quickly as I end the video. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. And I hope you enjoy. I know it took forever to get into and make this deck. But, you know, I've been busy. But here you go. Again, there's your Crystal Beast deck I made for you guys. Try it out. If you don't think it's good, trust me, it is pretty good and fun to use. And since this is the end of the video, if you liked it, please leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because that helps you support me and helps me make more videos for you to enjoy. Now, like the end of every single one of my videos. I hope the rest of the week is blessed. I hope Crystal Beast keep getting better. I hope Volcanics get support finally. And I hope the rest of the week is blessed. And I hope I see y'all again in the next video. And with that, and congratulations again for the whole contest win, I'm out.